right, so get ready, because today we're doing a deep dive into Amelia Paris. This film is uh, it's creating a lot of buzz. Yeah. And, uh, well, it's not every day you see a story about a Mexican drug lord who decides that he wants to become a woman. And um, and then to top it all off, he does it all through song. Yeah, so we're talking about Manitas, yes. who is this uh, this kingpin. And he ends up undergoing gender affirmation surgery to become Amelia Paris. And uh, director Jacques Audiard, he throws us all into this whirlwind of a crime, thriller, musical, melodrama, all while exploring some really complex themes of identity and transformation and just what it really means to live authentically. So yeah, buckle up, because this deep dive is going to be as unpredictable and captivating as the film itself. You know, it is interesting how Amelia Perez takes such a potentially explosive premise and it avoids falling into the trap of sensationalism. Like instead of exploiting the shock value of a drug lord's transformation, Audio uses it as a springboard to delve into the depths of human experience. Like think about it. This is a character who has lived a life of violence and power. And now all of a sudden, they're seeking a different kind of freedom, a freedom to be who they truly are. You know, it's a journey of self-discovery. And I think that resonates with anyone who has ever felt trapped by societal expectations or their own past. That you're right. And the you know what really struck me was how Audiard uses music, not just as entertainment, but almost as a window into Amelia's soul. Like take that scene in the Bangkok Clinic, for instance, where Amelia is about to undergo surgery and suddenly she breaks into this like heart-wrenching area. And it's not your typical musical number. It's raw and vulnerable, and it just it tells you so much more about her internal struggle than any dialogue could. And then on top of that, you've got that courtroom scene where a key character, <laughs> Rita, delivers her entire argument and song in the middle of the grocery store. It's so unexpected and surreal, but it somehow works brilliantly. Exactly. Audiard masterfully blends these seemingly disparate genres, the gritty realism of the crime thriller and the emotional intensity of the melodrama. And then you add in the expressive power of the musical and he creates this truly unique cinematic tapestry. It's like he's saying that life itself is a mix of these elements, you know, the light and the dark, the joy and the pain all intertwined and the music, which is composed by the brilliant Nicholas Jar. It's more than just a soundtrack, it's almost like a character in itself, driving the narrative and deepening our understanding of the character's inner life. Yeah, and speaking of characters, let's talk about Carla Sofia Gascon's performance as Amelia. I mean, wow, she embodies this complex character with such nuance and depth. I mean, it's a role that could easily have tipped into caricature, but Gascon brings a raw honesty and vulnerability to it. You can really see her grappling with her past as Manitas and navigating the challenges of her new identity, and then ultimately fighting for the right to live authentically. It's definitely a performance that stays with you long after the credits roll. It's uh, it's fascinating how the film weaves in social commentary without hitting you over the head with it. Like, Amelia Perez tackles these themes of gender identity and societal expectations, but it does it with such a delicate touch. You know, instead of offering like these simplistic answers or falling into stereotypes, it presents Amelia's journey as a really personal one. Like, we see her navigating a world that's so quick to judge and categorize and struggling to reconcile her past with her present and then ultimately, you know, finding strength and resilience in her own self-acceptance. Yeah, you know, what's remarkable is that even with all the heavy themes, Amelia Perez never loses its sense of humor and heart. Like there are these moments of genuine warmth and tenderness, especially in Amelia's interactions with her new community. You see her forming these bonds of friendship and love and finding acceptance in these unexpected places and discovering a sense of belonging that really transcends her past. It's just a reminder that even amidst all the darkness, there's always the possibility of finding light and connection. What's also interesting is how Audiard plays with the visual storytelling to kind of mirror Amelia's internal transformation. He uses these rapid cuts and unexpected transitions, this mix of gritty realism and dreamlike sequences to create a world that feels both familiar and disorienting at the same time. It's like we're experiencing the world through Amelia's eyes as she's navigating the shifting landscapes of her own identity and the complexities of the world around her. And, you know, speaking of complexity, the film definitely doesn't shy away from exploring the darker side of Amelia's past as Manitas. Like, we see these glimpses of the violence and brutality that defined her former life. And it really raises these questions about redemption and second chances and whether we can ever truly escape the shadows of our past. But what's really compelling is that Audiard doesn't offer any easy answers. Instead, he kind of leaves it up to us to grapple with these questions, to consider the weight of our choices and the possibility of transformation. One of the things I really appreciate about Emilia Perez is that it's a film that stays with you long after the credits have rolled. You know it sparks conversation and it challenges your assumptions. 
and it really invites you to reflect on your own understanding of identity and the human experience. It's really a testament to the power of cinema to move us and make us think and just to open our minds to new perspectives. Absolutely. And, you know, for a film that tackles such weighty themes, it's surprisingly entertaining. Like the musical numbers are captivating and the performances are stellar and the visual storytelling is just stunning. Amelia Perez is a true cinematic gem, a film that manages to be both thought provoking and thoroughly enjoyable. You know, it's incredible how Amelia Perez manages to be both deeply personal and universally relatable at the same time. On one hand, it's a story about a specific individual's journey of self-discovery and transformation, but then on a deeper level, it taps into something very fundamental about the human experience, the desire to break free from the constraints that society imposes on us, to shed the masks that we wear, and to embrace our authentic selves. You know, thinking about Amelia's story, it really makes you wonder how much of our identity is actually shaped by the roles that we play in life? Like, is it even possible to truly reinvent ourselves, to rewrite our own narratives, or are we forever bound by our pasts? I mean, Emilia Perez doesn't offer any easy answers, but it definitely poses some incredibly thought-provoking questions about the nature of identity and the power of transformation mm. and the complexities of the human heart. And I think that's the beauty of this film. It doesn't preach. And it doesn't offer these simplistic solutions. It just invites you to engage with these questions on your own terms, to wrestle with the ambiguities and contradictions of human experience. It's a film that stays with you long after you've left the theater. And it prompts you to look inward and examine your own life and your own choices and your own understanding of what it means to be true to yourself. So as we're wrapping up our deep dive into Amelia Perez, right. what's the one thing you hope our listeners take away from this conversation? Hmm, I think it's this. Amelia Perez is a reminder that transformation is possible, even in the most unexpected of circumstances. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the power of self-acceptance, and the enduring hope that we can all find our own paths to liberation and authenticity. Beautifully said. And thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the world of Amelia Perez, a film that's as moving as it is thought-provoking. We hope you enjoyed the journey and maybe even discovered some new insights along the way.